You certainly get to meet a wide variety of people and personalities in Pattaya, such as the appeal, but it's not every day you get to meet a former British actress and household name who's now relocated to Pattaya with her husband to sell medicinal cannabis. Kelly, welcome to Pattaya. Thank you. I've got to ask, um, what did you do back in the UK? I'm an actress in the UK. I worked on shows like Shameless, Emmerdale, so yes, for the last 20 years I've worked in TV. Yeah, I want to elaborate a little bit more on that because there are people that are watching here that are in America and Australia. So Emmerdale, it's an institution for people in Britain. It is, yeah. Soaps are massive in England. Obviously you've got Coronation Street. Um, Emmerdale is one of, the, I think it's the second longest running soap. It's actually been going for over 50 years now. Yeah, so to have all this success, you know, why then come to Patia? <laughs> Because I was absolutely sick of living in England, I'm not going to lie. Um, my other half got offered a job in Bangkok and I fell in love with Thailand basically and I didn't want to leave. Yeah, so you're not in Bangkok now, you're in Pattaya, such yep. is your journey. Uh, you're in Pratamak Soy 5. Yep. Tell people about what you do now. Me and my partner Martin, we run a medical marijuana dispensary. That's the official term. <laughs> yeah. And how did that come about? We were living in Bangkok, but we'd visited Pattaya a couple of times for like a little weekend and we really, really liked it here. We thought the vibe was amazing. Um, it gets quite a bad reputation, but I absolutely love, love it here. I think the people are stunning um, and the weather's amazing and we're by the beach and I found this amazing building and I just said, I'm not going home, can we, yeah. we please say sorry. You, you really are in a, in a good location. What was the response from people back in the UK when they found out what you were doing? I think half weren't surprised <laughs> and the other half were very surprised. Um, I don't think the leap was, I think it was more the fact I'd settled in Thailand. Um, I don't think it was, because initially we came for six months. I think it was more the shock of, oh she's not coming back now. I don't think the medical marijuana dispensary <laughs> part was much of a big surprise for people to be honest. <laughs> yeah, what I really like about this as well is because sometimes Patia gets a, a bad name and reputation on legacy, I think. So to see someone like yourself come from the UK, why do you like Patia? Because I want to change some people's views that might say Patia's a bad place. Um, the, the beaches are amazing. Obviously, we were talking about some of the, how would you describe it? I always call it nightlife. Nightlife, okay, yeah. let's go with that. Obviously, the nightlife and, like you say, the legacy, the reputation of the Thailand in general when it comes to these certain bars and things like that. It's actually just not, that's just such a very small percentage of what it's like here. I think Pattaya has got so much more to offer. I mean, even just the beaches, the events that they do down there. Like, for instance, we've got the firework festival this weekend. And that's massive. It's huge. Yeah. You, every other weekend, there's something major going on down at the beach. Families, the, the things here, all the theme parks, all the water parks, it's Honestly, it is not what you think it is. I mean, if you come as a as a young man with your pals on holiday, then that's that's the places you're going to go. Then that's only what's going to be put out there. But I think this is why I like the stuff you do as a family man here, giving that other side of Pattaya, which is definitely what I want to try and do as well. Especially for women travellers who want to come here, because I think it's a very can be seen as a very male dominated area as well and it's not this beautiful families that have lived here you know from all over the world that have come and settled here so yeah that's why i love it here because it's a lot more family friendly than people give it credit for now i know there are a lot of females that watch that about thailand I bet that you is. have your own channel what tell people what it is so i've obviously got the obvious instagram and uh, twitters and facebook and all that but my my platform is TikTok, so yeah, she needs to go and follow me on TikTok. Kelly Hollis. Kelly Hollis, yeah. Just Kelly with an I. Okay. And last question. Is that it for you? Patia? Anywhere else? What's the plan? The plan isn't to leave Thailand. We're going to be in Patia for the foreseeable future. Um, the bar's going to be here for the foreseeable future. The end game is actually Krabi. I'm not yeah. going to lie. We actually loved it. Martin loved Krabi. But only there so it can be boosted. This will always be our base now. Yes. Um, but we we do get itchy feet and we want to see as much as as much of Thailand as, as possible. But we'll, yeah, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.